Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. I'm so glad that you're joining me today. I'm really excited to share a whole bunch of cards with you. It has been kind of a crazy week and I didn't get a demonstration prepared. So instead, I will be sharing with you cards using products from the brand new July through December mini catalog. I say brand new, but we're now two months in <laughs> and there are three months left. So it does still feel brand new and I cannot wait to share some of these cards with you because um, I have not shared most of the cards from my swap box, and there are some really amazing cards. So I'm sorry I didn't get a demonstration put together for you today. If you like to watch me make new cards, that's not going to happen tonight. I'll just be sharing projects that are already made, but I have a whole bunch of them. I think I counted 93 cards, <laughs> all using products from the July through December mini catalog. Say hi when you pop on, whether you're watching live or watching the replay. I see several of you commenting who are watching live. I'm so glad that you're here with me tonight. Give me a, a quick thumbs up or a heart. I want to make sure you can see the entire catalog in our viewing window. We've had some problems recently with Facebook Lives where it was you were only able to see the center. So I just want to make sure that you can see everything, the entire catalog cover in our window tonight. I'm seeing some thumbs up and hearts, so it looks like we're good. Tell me what your favorite thing out of the mini catalog is. Now, I am going to acknowledge, and I know this is very frustrating, that there are some things that are on back order and a few things that are also not orderable, but there's so much in this catalog that is available in stock and ready to go. And so I'm going to point out those things as we go today. So if you're making out your list, um, there's still plenty to get. And we have one more week left of celebration. Just want to give you a quick reminder of that celebration. Now, this is the first time Stampin' Up! has done this for the second time in the year. Usually it's just January and February. And so this year we have January and February and August and September. If you're not familiar with celebration, you get a free gift for every $50 that you order. Some things are, sorry, this one's sold out. It's the only one that's sold out. A free gift for every $50 that you order. Some of the items are free with a hundred dollar order. Those are called level two gifts and we have just a couple of them. One of them are the summer shadow dies and the other one is the um, delicate dahlia stamp set. So one more week if you want to get any of these make sure that you get your order in by September 30th. You can order in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. You can get everything from the mini catalog minus a few exceptions <laughs> that are not that are not orderable. You can also get stuff from the annual catalog. And um, yeah, I think there's some clear and track things in there too. Just a few kind of left over. I think we're due for another refresh soon, but it probably won't happen in the next week. So make sure that you get your celebration orders in. All right, I've got a fun announcement to make and let's just start with that, I think. Um, so let me first talk about the catalog. We're going to show some samples from the catalog. And I'm going to pull out these right here to start. Move that box out of the way. Okay, so first thing in the catalog, um, we've got this gorgeous, I love this painted Christmas suite. But the very first thing in the catalog is this stamp set called Strong of Heart. Now, I didn't purchase this one. I guess it's still kind of on my list. This is one of the Making a Difference, Make a Difference stamp sets that Stampin' Up! Um, has offered throughout the years. And when you purchase the Strong of Heart stamp set, Stampin' Up! will donate $3 toward uh, to support heart health. So here's a stamp or a card swap that I got from BJ Peters and she used the outline and this other stamp. I just, I do love these um, samples that they've included here. Hearts are not just for Valentine's Day and the sentiments in this set are really, really good, really great. Through struggle comes strength. Here for you. You amaze me and stronger than you know. So if you know anyone who could use an encouraging card, this Strong of Heart stamp set is definitely the one to get it done. And when you purchase it, $3 goes to support heart health. I think it's just really amazing. All right, then the next thing in here, we've got these card kits. And this may have been confusing. We have this new kit collection. These are only available online in the online store. 
Um, you can also go, you can go to juliedavison.com slash shop, which is my store, or you can go to stampinup.com slash kits to see the kit collection. So all the kit collections are while supplies last. So what you see in there, um, you know, is only available while there is stock. Brand new that was just added um, in September is this Christmas Whimsy kit. And this one, I'm not even sure what this one is called, but this other kit um, is going to be available in early October. So if you've been waiting for these two, this one is available right now. This one is coming soon. And I think the idea and the eventual goal with this kit collection is to have a new kit introduced each month. Um, but right now we're still rolling it out. It's still kind of a brand new program. So it's exciting to see. These are very similar to Paper Pumpkin kits. And uh, Paper Pumpkin, if you are a subscriber or if you're not and want to be, it's a really great time to get a Paper Pumpkin subscription, a prepaid subscription. You can get one month, three months, six month or 12 month prepaid subscription and the the cool thing about paying ahead with the prepaid is that you qualify to receive celebration gifts so you can get you can pay for your three month um you know three months in advance and you qualify for one celebration if you get six months you get two gifts if you get 12 months then you get four or you know some of the bigger ones so this is a great time to buy ahead on your paper pumpkin subscription i always do that um <laughs> i always do that uh, during celebration. And Sean, you have not missed the announcement. <laughs> okay, so here, here's my announcement. I'm going to pause here on the gingerbread and peppermint um, sweet. So um, I have been doing these Stamp of the Month Club um, sort of card kits featuring a new stamp set every month, having a card kit and a PDF and an online class. And so I was supposed to design last week. And if you tuned in last week, you know we had um, some chaos um, at our high school with a, a shooting incident like gunfire. And my daughter was in the in the near vicinity. Um, so it was it was terrifying and uh, kind of threw off the whole week. I'm not going to lie. It's been stressing me out. Uh, then we had two injuries <laughs> with our kids, a minor foot surgery, an 18th birthday. <laughs> so this last week, I've been literally like at the edge of my rope, um, feeling like I can barely keep my head above water. And so I did not get a chance to design the card kit as I had planned. And when I finally went to sit down, the bundle that I plan to use is now on back order. So yesterday I came up with a pivot plan and this was not the original plan, but I do have a card kit opportunity for you and still a free online card class like I do every month. So I am going to be featuring the gingerbread and peppermint suite, specifically the gingerbread and peppermint designer paper. I have used the, I'm going to pull this aside for a second. I've used the, um, the template created by Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Development Managers. It's sort of a one sheet wonder template. They called it a pick six wonder. And so they have this free PDF, which is available right now to download on my blog, where you have their cutting guide, you have the instructions to make 14 different cards right now at tinyurl.com, sept, S-E-P-T, 2021, SOTM. This will link to my blog post where you can download this template right now. Right now it's on there. You can go. It's a free download. You can grab it. Like I said, this was created by Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Development Managers, DDMs, known to demonstrators. And so I am using this template for my free online class, which will be Saturday, October 2nd at 2 o'clock p.m. Central Time. <laughs> Saturday, October 2nd is World Card Making Day. So I hope that you will join me in creating a stack of cards. Now, there are two two options. One option is you can download the PDF. You can get the list of supplies on the blog post and you can you can use your own stuff and come and stamp with me and make cards. The second option, if you like things that are ready to go, I have a card kit, which is what is here. And you can purchase that at the same link. It's all on my blog post. So the card kit includes um, pretty much everything that you need to make the 14 cards. It There are 14 card bases in real red, old olive, white, and cinnamon cider. You're gonna get 12 different sheets of the gingerbread and peppermint designer paper. I chose this one because it has so many great images that you can um, either fussy cut or die cut to use on your cards. 
you're going to get 14 envelopes, 14 punch tags, and a yard and a half of real red ribbon. So do you want to see the cards? I know the picture's here, but I have to show you in person because they turned out so cute. This is what I was working on today, making up my samples. So these are the cards that we'll be making in the free online class. I will walk you through using the template to cut your designer paper, whether you got the card kit or whether you're using your paper at home. You can use this paper. You can use any paper. It doesn't matter. We just want to get together and stamp a whole stack of cards. So here are the cards that I created. And these are the cards that you'll be able to create at home if you get the card kit. I will have the ribbon, the paper, and the card bases. The only thing that you will need to provide is a greeting stamp and ink. You can either use real red as I have on this card, or you can use black or whatever color you have at home. Um, so here are the cards. There are like some different designs that you mix and match. So some of the cards look very similar. So those cards are all kind of similar to each other. And then, um, oh, I got these mixed up. There's these two that are kind of similar together. And in the template, they um, they have like a heart. Um, I didn't I didn't do it the same way with the heart. I just kind of put them together and I'll show you in the class. Then there is this one with the three squares or I should say rectangles of designer paper. So even though like the template is very similar, like all the cards look different with different patterns, different colors, different um, shapes. Then we've got this fun like little pinwheel kind of design. I would... I was struggling with this one a little bit, but <laughs> I like the way that they turned out. And I think the supplemental, um, the supplemental, you know, cut images from the designer paper really helped to round out the cards as well. Um, oops, this one was with one of these other ones. And then you have some leftover pieces that create the, the last card, the 14th card. So, oh my gosh, these are so much fun. And like I said, you can bring your own supplies and stamp with me. You can get the free download on my blog right now. You can go download it. So if you don't want to wait for Saturday, <laughs> October 2nd, you can go ahead and make these cards or similar cards right now. Um, or you can stamp along with me on Saturday, October second. Now, if you get the kit, it will include a printout of the cutting guide and instructions. So you won't have to worry about printing that out at home. I know some of you don't have a printer that works really well. So the card kit will include everything that I've shown here. Um, and there is a buy, um, like a buy now button. So I will have these card kits ready to send tomorrow. So if you purchase one of these card kits, um, and there's only a limited number. So when when they're all gone, there'll be a waiting list form and you can fill it out. And um, if I can have enough interest and create more kits, then I will invoice you when those kits are available. So this is what I'm so excited about. This is my pivot plan. We're still going to do a free online class and I'm going to show you the bundle as we go through the cards in the mini catalog. I still hope to create a card kit with this bundle, Sparkle of the Season. Um, I just want to wait for the dies to come back in stock and then we'll do like another class and another card kit offering featuring that bundle like we normally do. So if you do prefer the other kind of card kit and the other thing, we're still going to have that. It's We're just thrown off our time. <laughs> we're just thrown off our time a little bit. Okay. Are you guys excited? Give me a thumbs up. Give me a heart. If you're excited about stamping together, like I said, even if you just have your own stuff at home, your own cardstock, your own designer paper, I hope that you'll join me and stamp together so we can make these cards on World Card Making Day. Oh, yay. Carolyn says, I love them. She has everything that she needs and is ready for creating together. Oh, I love that so much. So even if you don't want to make Christmas cards, right? If you have just any designer paper, you could be making thinking of you cards or thank you cards or Halloween cards like whatever kind of cards you want to make um, the card kits that I have put together will all be for the peppermint and gingerbread suite because like I said I love that this designer paper has images that you can die cut or fussy cut and use to create your cards oh yay I'm so excited Myrtle said she's already ordered her kits that is fantastic. I will put the um, the link that I just shared. I'll put that in the video description too when we're all done. So if you want to check out the PDF download or get the list of supplies that you'll need for the class, I also have the link to the class there and the button to buy your kits. Okay, let me show you some additional cards using this suite. So what we're doing tonight, if you're just joining, is I'm going through my box of card swaps using the mini catalog. So I think there's like 
93 or something like that. I have to double check and recount them. But um, I think there's like 93 cards. So tonight we are not making anything new. We're just going to kind of go through and share a whole bunch of projects with you. So starting with the gingerbread and peppermint sweet. Some of these you've seen before. If you watch my videos and watch my channel, many of these cards will look familiar. But I do have some brand new ones that I've not shared with you yet. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> you don't want to miss some of these beautiful cards. All right. Some of these gingerbread and peppermint cards I have shared recently. This one I copied right from the catalog. I love to case and copy from the catalog. So you can see I changed up the colors, but the layout is the same. And I used the designer paper and just kind of switched up some of the, the layers and the colors a little bit. The, both of these are the same as well. Um, one has sparkly embossing paste and one is the blended background with the decorative masks. And here's one that I shared last week, this really cool fun fold. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to ask for the link and I'll hook you up so you can see how to make this one. This one is so much fun. And I really, I want to try this with another, um, another stamp set and color combination. I just haven't had a chance yet. Oh, speaking of which, the other part of my big announcement was that um, I'm going to be doing daily celebration spotlight videos starting tomorrow at 1 p.m. for the next week until celebration ends. I will be sharing a brand new project featuring something celebration, the stamp set, the designer paper. We're going to walk through the catalog and share projects with you one more time before celebration ends. So make sure to tune in. Um, trying to get another box for the cards. Tune in starting one o'clock every day, um, one o'clock until celebration is over on September 30th. Okay, for the cards today, we're just gonna walk through the catalog. I've got them all in order. Um, so we're just gonna keep going and see what is next. I just dropped, what did I drop? Oh, that card kit, okay. Let's get this back in here. Oh, one more thing. I was just thinking 3D projects. <laughs> this goes with that gingerbread and peppermint sweet. They, we have a die that is this um, pillow box die. And so it creates these really cute boxes. I have glued my flap down in the front, but left it open so you can put in little treats in here. These are kind of small. Like here's my hands for, <laughs> for reference. So this is going to fit just like a couple small chocolates, like not very much candy at all, which is perfect just for a little treat to share with neighbors or friends or coworkers or grandchildren. <laughs> okay. So the next thing we have, Oh, I have this one, but I haven't played with it yet. The next one I have a sample for is the Mary snowflakes. And I adore this swap card. This one came from Dina Recow and I'm loving the color combination that she used here. Pacific Point, Coastal Cabana, and Old Olive. Like I never would have thought to make green snowflakes, but holy cow, it's so beautiful. It works so well. And then we've got the embossed sentiment on the black cardstock. I just love the way this pops. And check out this die. Like I said, I have gotten this bundle, but I haven't played with it yet. Um, and I'm really excited about the dynamic dies. I can't wait to really play and share that with you. But here you can see just some of that really cool um, detail. So definitely we're going to see more of that in the next month or two as we keep playing. I feel like right now, like it's finally officially fall. So <laughs> Uh, I feel silly like doing Christmas too early, but um, now that it is officially fall, I kind of feel like, okay, we can we can get into some Christmas stuff. Here's a card I shared recently. I used the bedazzling paper from the celebration offering and I spritzed it to make it blue. I was casing the catalog right here. Can you see? I used the same layout and this stars are shining stamps out with the punch, the starlet punch. This, the punch has um, five or six different stars on it, so it's kind of a cool, I think a really good punch to have, even not just for Christmas, but to create um, stars for other projects. I love the way that one turned out. Okay, moving on, our next one is the Painted Christmas. Now, I shared these cards recently in the Sunday Stamping video, so I'm gonna kind of go through them pretty quick. Painted Christmas has two different bundles, the Christmas season and the Christmas to remember, and then this beautiful hand-painted Painted Christmas designer paper. And this designer paper is totally available. The bundles are available. I think this ribbon is on back order right now, but everything else is good to go. So let me show you some of these beautiful cards using the paper and one or both of the bundles. 
For this one, I use the silicone craft mat to emboss the big die onto the Evening Evergreen cardstock. Here's a swap from Ruth Bingle, doing a little triple time stamping. I got a request for that and I'm making a note, so maybe we'll do some triple time stamping with, um, with one of the Celebration Spotlight videos, so stay tuned. Here's another one that I made, pulling colors from the designer paper and bringing in those stamped images. This is a swap card from Jennifer Cotton. And here's one from Joni Reinerts. Love this one, time-worn type 3D embossing folder. If you're looking to add some texture to your cards, these 3D embossing folders, oh my gosh, are just so amazing. This one is by Mary McNeely. Love the detailed layering of the pine cones there. Just such a beautiful card. This one is by Jody Anderson. And I think we got a little casing from the catalog here. Can you see that? I love, love, love. Uh, Jody's rendition here and uh, especially the golds. We got like a gold layer underneath the label. So pretty. Uh, here are two more cards. I shared those in our first ever Sunday stamping video. We're on episode 16 now, but this was episode one. So if you haven't seen that, you can check that out. Sunday stamping with Susan and Julie. Have you guys been watching that? That's the video series I do with my mom every Sunday at noon central time. And we have so much fun sharing projects with you. Okay, I had a sample with the Snow Wonder and maybe it's like stuck inside my box and I haven't seen it yet. Um, I don't know where it went to. I think it was from April and um, it's MIA right now in my room. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll come across it later and we'll like rewind. This one is a carryover. It was in the last year's fall catalog and now it's available again. So if you love snowman, it's so pretty here. Uh, I'm not sure I like it in brown, but <laughs> this is one I have too and I haven't had a chance to play with. The classic cloche and it has a dome and then you can get the shaker domes and put some shaker stuff in there. So we're definitely going to play with this a little bit. Uh, I have two cards here using the Encircled in Warmth bundle. This one has some really gorgeous detailed dies. Oh my goodness. And these all fit into the center of those dies. So here are the cards that I have. This one, Warm Christmas Wishes, is by Ann Clemmer. And the candy cane is actually a big background stamp. I think that's coming up later in the catalog. Really simple card here, real red and evening evergreen. And this one with the big You Warm My Heart is created by Janice Waitman. So simple, but it has such an impact. I love that sentiment too. You wore my heart. <laughs> Carolyn says, don't be eat brown snow or snowman. That is good advice. <laughs> All right, Whimsy and Wonder is the next suite. This is one that I've been thinking about featuring as a Stamp of the Month card class. Um, this is one that has some back order issues. I think the trees are low inventory or back order. The designer paper has been on back order. I'm not sure if it's back in stock. I think the ribbon is not orderable right now. So um, stay tuned. It's coming back. If this is one that you're wanting to order, um, don't worry there's still plenty of time we still have three months left there's nothing in the, the mini catalog that has sold out so um, just because it's not available right now doesn't mean it's not coming back it is it's just temporarily sold back sold out until they um they can get more so Stay tuned, but in the meantime, let me share some um, some cards of inspiration. Oh my gosh, this one is from Carol Hafner, and I love it so much. She cut out pieces from the designer paper and then used one of those iridescent snowflakes. Carol sent this in for the great big card swap, but I loved it so much that I had to keep it for myself and put another card of mine in there. Love this fun little opening too. Maybe may this Christmas fill your heart with warmth and love. These colors are so unusual for Christmas, but I'm kind of digging them. Blushing Bride, Mint Macaron, and then Polished Pink, Mossy Meadow, Misty Moonlight. Here's a card from Jan McClurg. Uh, and that, that combination again with the pink and the holly is just so fun. These gold leaves are part of the painted Christmas suite, but they sure do work really well in this one. Here's a card that my mom created, Susan LaCroix. It's got a fun, 
folds with a fun flap and then the presents are cut out from the designer paper. This is kind of a, a fun, unique fold. I'm definitely gonna get this one a try. I think mom shared this in one of our Sunday stamping videos. So you may have seen it there as well. That might've been like episode two. <laughs> Here's one from Kimberly Kane using the designer paper. I love this white glittered ribbon. Currently not orderable, I think, but it's coming back and you're definitely gonna wanna add it to your list if you love bling. This card is from Meg Lovin. Love this Mary Melody embossing folder in the background. Real simple strips of designer paper. These are one inch by three inch. And then having like like a little um, embellishment kind of focal point here and the sentiment. Really bright paper there with the polished pink, but I'm kind of loving it. Here's one from Betsy Kreider. Really letting the designer paper be the focal point here. Misty Moonlight is the background, mint macaron, the layer, and then that Merry Christmas with the stitch label. So great. Oh, here's one with the trees. This one is by Amy Story. And um, this one really features the stamp trees. I think all the other ones focus a lot on the designer paper. Um, but this one, you really can see how beautiful those trees and the, the die cut images are. So stay tuned. I'll definitely be using this suite some more when everything is back in stock. All right, let's keep moving. We've got a really great bundle here, Peaceful Deer. And this one coordinates with a celebration designer paper. So I'm just gonna flip over and point that out really quick. If you're loving the deer and loving these colors, the Peaceful Prints 12 by 12 designer paper coordinates very much so um, with this bundle. So you can get this free with a $50 order during celebration. And maybe part of that $50 is the Peaceful Deer Bundle. Now, you'll notice this 10%. Whenever you buy the stamp set and the tool together, whether it's a punch or a die, you save 10% on um, the bundle. So this would normally cost $40 for the stamp set and the punch, but you can get it for $36 when you um, get them bundled together at the same time. So here are some cards using that Peaceful Deer stamp set. This one uses that cloche die as well. This one is by Anna Masternak. I love the little red nose for Rudolph. <laughs> Here's some I made created with the designer paper. So I stamped right on the designer paper here and then colored and punched out the deer on top. Love this clean and simple one. I just used the sentiment and the trees against the tree designer paper. A little bit of black glitter ribbon in the background. I adore the simplicity of this one this is one you know i have to say this stamp right here like i wasn't sure what that is it what it was at first until i saw this sample it is a wreath to go around the deer's neck um and so i used my markers to color that red and green and then stamped it around the deer and then i colored the deer after i did the wreath so that i wouldn't have like the brown um in there and then the antlers are a separate stamp. I really love the layout and how this one turned out. One more card. This one is by my mom, Susan LaCroix, and she stamped um, the In the Woods. I think that's the name of it. We'll come across it later on. Such a gorgeous um, card there, though. She stamped the trees on tree paper from the Peaceful Prints uh, paper pack. So I love that the deer are not just like for Christmas. My husband's been a deer hunter his whole life. And so like I could totally see this card being for a winter birthday. If you have a hunter in your family, um, perhaps they would enjoy this card. All right, next up, this is another punch bundle. And the, the punch is this border punch that does this holly border. You can kind of see it here on the foil card stock. This is not one that I have, but I do have a couple cards um, that were made with it. This, this first one is by Betsy Kreider, and she's used another um, bundle, which I haven't played with. This might be my only sample of the way it looks. It, it does a die cut and emboss at the same time. Let me take it out of the plastic so you can really get a good look. This is another one that I've really got to play some more with and share with you. I'm really looking forward to using that some more. So she's got that done for the background and then she stamped the bird on designer paper and then cut it out. And I just love that pattern bird. I think that was such a clever, clever idea. And Betsy always makes sure to stamp and decorate the inside as well. Such a beautiful card. Here's another beauty from um, Debbie Garthway, and she used the designer paper in the background and then has the bird and the Noel comes from there as well, punched out with a rectangular postage punch. What do you guys think of the bird set? Isn't that beautiful? 
this this border die or this border punch too i don't know i might have to give this one a second look this one is definitely in stock ready and available for you to order oh my gosh do you love snowmen look how cute those are i don't have any swap samples using the snow buddy better stamp yet but i do love that we have this group of snowmen who are all ready to gift you with a snowball Oh my gosh, what do you think of cute little Santa? This one is Be Jolly, and I love this sort of like whimsical, sketchy kind of um, style here. This one, remember I pointed out on Anne's card the candy cane background, and there's a bit of a glare, so let me just pull this out and show you. This card is by Angie Leach. There you can see it a little bit uh, better. We've got red on red uh, for the background, and I just think that was the, the perfect little background for this Santa card. Here's another one using traditional red and green. Oh, this one doesn't have a name. Let's see if it's on the inside really quick. Sometimes I swap and I don't, I get cards that don't have names. So I'm not sure who created that one, but really great, simple layout using the gingerbread and peppermint designer paper and then a fun stitched die for Santa. So cute. This one, Holly Jelly Wishes, is um, got a lot of great greetings in it. And here's a card created by Natalie Travis using the jingle all the way from this set. And then she's got the merry melody, that music notes in the background. Paper here is Painted Christmas, and then the red ribbon is from the Gingerbread and Peppermint Suite. Oh, Marilyn and everybody else, thank you so much for sharing my video. I always love it when you guys share so more stampers can see and be inspired by the projects that I share each week. You guys are so awesome. All right, tell me what you think about sweet stockings. Do you have a pet at home? I love these cute little, we just only have heads, the dog and the cat and the, the little hamster or gerbil to peek out from the stockings. Sweet Little Stockings really does focus more on the stockings than the animals, but the designer paper has a lot of really fantastic um, animal images to cut out. I know the corgi is so cute. Here's a card that my daughter Claire made, the never ending card. So she's using bits of the designer paper and all of these images with the animals have been um, fussy cut from the designer paper. Sending love and peace this season. Look at that little bird with the letter. And how cute is this paper? And then we've got the, the little mouse and the cat as well. The magic of Christmas never ends, just like this never ending card. I love how this turned out and this paper just is so cute. Even if you don't get the stamp set in the bundle, gosh, this paper is just adorable. Here's a card from April Lopez. In fact, she just punched out the corgi from the designer paper and layered that um, on some circles. Now, I'm gonna point out this embossing folder to you later. It's not one that I have yet, but I want you to take note of the diagonal line. Half of the embossing folder is these um, checkers and then the other half I think is stars, but it's like diagonal in half. Um, so she's just stamped or die cut, blah, 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 embossed it and then cut down that line. Um, but if you just did the whole card front, you'd have both um, both patterns. So it's kind of a fun embossing folder. I'll point it out when we get there. Uh, next card is from Karen Titus. And she's also fussy cut some animals from the, the paper. Such a cute cat. I just love the grumpy, the grumpy cat going on. Here's one that I made fussy cutting again from the designer paper. And then the stamp set is actually, I think it's called Simple Delight. And um, I'll show this card again when we get to that stamp set so you can see some of the images that are in there. Oh my gosh, love this. If you love it too, give me a thumbs up. Give me a heart if you like the sweet stockings sweet. Okay, how about this one? This one really intrigues me, but I don't love to color. <laughs> I love the cards. I love the idea of mixing and matching the tops and the bottoms, either holding a tree, holding gifts, or a package of flowers. And I've got some really beautiful cards, and um, I'm so happy that I can share these since I don't have this bundle or this stamp set myself. This one comes from Sandy Carlson, and I I really love how she colored the tree to include so many different shades of green in there. And then the red rhinestones are perfect for ornaments. Sending love and Christmas cheer. What a beautiful card. Here's one from Ruth Bingle. And she has done the little stack of presents with the dress. This is kind of a fun technique. Um, and we saw this with the bird where you stamp on designer paper and then cut out. So this is called paper piecing where you can get a pattern on the stamped image 
so it's not actually colored. It is, um, it's stamped on the paper. So kind of a fun technique and uh, sort of looks nice in 3D. And here's a beautiful one. This one is from Jan Walters, a team member of mine. And she's got the Peaceful prints, um, Buffalo check in the background. And then I just love the coloring here. The beautiful colors with the real red and evening evergreen. Oh my goodness, I just love it. Okay, let's move on. Oh, our cute little penguins. Oh, Penguin Place. Currently, the Penguin Punch is not orderable. So if you've been trying to get it, it's not going to be back in stock until early November. So if this is something that's on your wish list, go ahead and get the stamp set right now if you want to, or you can wait and get the whole bundle. The stamp set is available. The punch and the bundle are not. Um, but you probably know that the Penguin Place stamp set coordinates with the Penguin Playmates designer paper. Um, there is one of the images in the paper that can be punched out with the punch. Most of the images, though, are just fussy cut, or you can stamp um, from the, the stamp image. And like this one is a stamped image here that's been fussy cut. Um, so just so many cute things that you can do. If you've been eyeing the penguins, you definitely want to make sure to get the Penguin Playmate designer paper, um, whether you're getting the bundle right now or waiting until it's back in stock later. Let's take some, let's take a look at some cards using this cute little penguin. Penguin. This one has got um, rectangles of the Penguin Playmates designer paper. This one is by Sandy Carlson. To the coolest friend ever. I love the colors in this paper. Fresh freesia, soft sea foam, just jade, a misty moonlight. Really fun colors. Bright and Bright and awesome. Speaking of bright and awesome, look at this one. This is by Cindy Bauman, and she used the glitter paper to punch out the penguin. How clever is that? And do you see the cute little sunglasses? She used packing tape on cardstock and then punched this. Um, so the sunglasses are like what normally is the white part of the penguin, so like the body or the face of it. So like that's this part here. And she just used the top of it upside down to make the sunglasses. Isn't that cool? I, I thought that was such a clever idea. Uh, and then I really do love the, the glitter on that penguin. To the coolest friend ever. Here's one from Deb Snyder. And she's got these cute little stamped penguins. I love that you can have a hat and a scarf and you can dress up your penguins all kinds of ways, including, look at this, you can make him a little reindeer. Isn't that so cute? You guys know I did use my penguin punch to create um, a Halloween card. I did a witch. <laughs> I used the glitter paper with the pine tree punch and the double oval punch to create the hat. And then I used the stamp set to stamp the nose and the eyes and the punch to create that card. If you haven't seen the video for this one, make sure to leave a comment and I'll link to that. It was a couple weeks ago for Thursday Night Stamp Therapy or last week. I've kind of lost track. <laughs> All right, moving right along. I shared some cards that use this big candy cane background. Um, they're already in the box. I won't show them again, but I just wanted to show you how this is a very large stamp. It covers the whole front of the card. So if you like background stamps and candy canes, this one is going to make card making super, super easy. Here's a fun one that I haven't had a chance to play with either. Knit Together is another background stamp. So it's really big. Looks like a knit sweater. And then you can get these um, knit sweater dies and it has like these fun shapes so you can either die cut or use the embossing paste as they've done here um, to create like you know a Christmas sweater kind of a kind of a look. Next one is the Peaceful Place and this one is uh, got some gorgeous designer paper that is a specialty paper with grays and black and then silver. Really gorgeous paper. We have the Timber 3D embossing folder here, which works well for fall cards as well. Uh, this is where you're going to find that white glitter ribbon. And this is the snowy velvet sheet. So this is like a flocked kind of a paper. I've got two cards using this sweet, uh, the Peaceful Cabin bundle. This one is by, I'm pretty sure it's from my mom, Susan LaCroix. Um, love all the layering here. This is not a bundle that I have yet, but it's, it's creeping up on my list. <laughs> what do you guys think of the Peaceful Cabin? Is this something that you would get? I think it's so beautiful. And if you have a cabin like this, then for sure <laughs> you would want to be able to make some beautiful cards. 
Oh, Gracie, it's okay. My pup's coming down the stairs with a little cough. Okay. Uh, oh, the polar bears. I have this one too because I fell in love with this sample. I love the way that they've colored with the, the blending brushes and created sort of this watercolor background. So I'm excited to play with the Arctic Bears bundle. Here's a card that I received from Susan Campfield, and she's just used the... Um, the die cut. She actually didn't use any of the stamp images. Well, I guess the thinking of you, but uh, we've got soft succulent here. And the designer paper is from the Tidings of Christmas. That is an annual catalog. It's a six by six Christmas paper, um, but you'll find that in the annual catalog. Um, oh, Sue says Peaceful Cabin was one of her first purchases. Oh my gosh. I love it. I, um, there's so much, it's hard to choose just like one, right? To start with. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm working my way through the things that I've bought and I've got to use them before I can buy more. Um, uh, Kathy says she also has the peaceful place stamp set. Yes. And made a card for your husband's birthday. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm sure that he loved it, Kathy. Here's another one that I don't have. This one's called Bright Baubles. And we've got these big stamp images. And then it's hard to see, so I'm going to get it a little close up here. The dies that coordinate with it have some detailed dies in them. So let me show you the two cards that I have because they use those detailed dies. This first one is from Kelly Atchison. And she's using the Peaceful Prince designer paper from Celebration. And then she has die cut this beautiful detailed... Um, detailed ornaments with a snowflake and then simple greeting down here tis the season here's another one with a beautiful detailed die cut this one is from rachel chamberlain and she has die cut the joy so both of those detailed die cuts are part of this bright baubles um, bundle so you can get the stamp set or you can get just the dies by themselves you'll find that on page 69 of the catalog at the back okay Moving right along, another great sentiment set for Unto Us. This is actually also a returning fave. So if you're looking for some religious sentiments, this is a really great stamp set for Christmas. Oh my gosh. Do you love these angels? If you've been noticing the Merry Melody embossing folder that I've shared, this is where you're going to find it on page 42. Um, this is the music note embossing folder. I just ordered this one. You can see it on the background here of this swap card from Mary Ellen Stites. Love the watercolor coloring job that she's done on the angel and the little treatment there using the heat tool to crinkle up the ribbon. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous card. Here's another beautiful one. Very simply, this one's by Joyce Farrakko. She stamped Knight of Navy on vellum and then layered that over the Knight of Navy cardstock for a more muted look, but just so beautiful and adding that little bit of ribbon. Do you guys like angels? This is another bundle, it's not a bundle actually, another stamp set that I don't have, um, but just so, so many beautiful images here. I feel like you could even use those well beyond Christmas. Merriest Moments. This is one I don't have any samples to show you, but this is the one that has the hybrid embossing folder and die. I showed you the background on that bird card. That was with this bundle here. And I do have this one. I just haven't had a chance to play with it. So this is definitely one you're going to see in the coming um, month or two as I get into my Christmas ones. Let me pull this out again. Here's that, um, that background piece I just wanted to show you again. So this is stamped and, or not stamped, but in, embossed and die cut at the same time with this hybrid system. So I will definitely be using this and sharing more projects with it, but I just wanted to show you what that looks like. Moving on, Blackberry Beauty. Again, this is one that I shared recently in a Sunday stamping video with mom. So I'm going to show you my projects really quickly, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time really talking about this. This gorgeous designer paper, I'm pretty sure is on back order right now. Um, and then the Blackberry Beauty ephemera pack um, as well is also on back order. This one till November, maybe this is back in stock or, or pretty soon. I've got to double check. And then the gold ribbon. Um, and let me share some of these cards with you while I try to um, text my hubby to let the dogs out. <laughs> okay, hopefully you'll see my text. Let me show you these Blackberry Beauty cards. Really simply, these are using pieces from the ephemera pack. 
This is a piece of the designer paper on the front, so pretty with the gold, um, the gold foil accents. And then we have pieces of the ephemera pack um, in, on the inside and this accordion designer paper. And here's another card using designer paper and ephemera pack, stamped images. Another one with the bold pink die cut ephemera back pieces. There's so many gorgeous ways to layer <laughs> all of this. Lynn, I just saw your question. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> oh, my husband is. Hey, Jimmy, make sure you check that gate and make sure Tom closed it. Um, <laughs> hopefully the dogs won't get out out. We had, we mowed the lawn in the back tonight and sometimes the, the gate accidentally gets left open. Here's another one. This is the one that I demonstrated during the Sunday stamping video. I used the silicone um, craft mat to emboss that large leaf die to make the background here. Okay, so that's Blackberry Beauty. So gorgeous. And this is one that is having some back order issues. So if it's been on your radar, it's coming back. I promise if you're not able to get all the things that you want right now, just stay tuned because it's... It's not over. It's coming back. <laughs> uh, this is one I got in during pre-order, and I still have not inked it up yet, but this card that I showed you earlier with the um, deer, this is where those trees came from, and I just love the simplicity of the trees, especially here with the blended sunset background. So this is definitely one you're going to see coming up soon when I have some more time to play. Gorgeous Leaves is such a great one for fall. I think the bundle is on back order right now because of the stamp sets, but Stampin' Up! makes their own stamp sets. So um, this back order, if it still is an issue, should be resolved very soon. You shouldn't have to wait very long for the stamp set. The dies are in stock and shipping without any problem. So let's take a quick look at some Gorgeous Leaves cards. Um, this is one I shared in a Sunday stamping video, kind of a triple time stamping eclipse kind of a, a thing. I stamped all the leaves in the background, die cut the label, and then added the layer behind it and popped it up on Stampin' Dimensionals. Uh, this one is a swap card from Genevieve Co. Here's that timber embossing folder that was part of the Peaceful Cabin um, suite, and then she's embossed Sending Love with gold embossing powder. This is one I cased right from the catalog. You guys know how much I love to do this. I copied the layout. I changed up the colors in the designer paper. Um, and I kind of like my version better. <laughs> Don't tell the Stampin' Up! concept artists. They do such a great job. And it was their work that inspired me. So I feel like I can't take all the credit because I was definitely inspired by what they did in the catalog. Uh, next card is another swap card. This one's from Evie De Piazza, um, and she has used the um, either like the mm, baby wipe technique or just adding ink, a rock and roll technique, putting ink directly to the stamp. Um, hi, Pat. I'm so glad that you've joined us. We are going through swap cards, and we still have a whole bunch more to share. We're walking through the catalog and sharing cards using products from the July through December mini catalog. So now we're getting into the fall and Halloween stuff. But if you're just joining, you'll want to make sure to watch the replay and catch everything else that we've shared because there have been some really gorgeous cards, some of which I've shared in previous videos and some I'm showing you for the first time um, tonight. Okay, next one is Pretty Pumpkins. I just today added this to an order. Oh, it's so beautiful. And we've got some detailed um, detailed dies here. This first swap is from Margaret Van Valet, and she's using the gold cardstock and then um, stamping and sponging and coloring. Just gorgeous here. The designer paper is Beauty of the Earth from the annual catalog. I think that's a good one to pair um, with this Pretty Pumpkins bundle. And then this one I shared, uh, Carrie Koss made this one for the great big card swap. Oh my God, I love the coloring job that she did on the pumpkins. And this is that fun fold that inspired the gingerbread and peppermint card I shared you last week. Um, so it's got sort of the, um, the, the gate folds. I just think that's so clever. And I have to say, she said she saw this on Pinterest. Um... Stamp with Nelly is who she credited for this, um, the fun folds idea. So beautiful. 
pretty pumpkins. Definitely gonna play with that some more. You'll be you'll be seeing some more of that in the next uh, the next month as well. Uh, how about these squirrels? Love them or hate them? <laughs> Tell me what you think about nuts about squirrels. I'm not a fan of squirrels in person, but the stamp set is growing on me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I missed a whole bunch of comments. Um, okay, here are some cards. Definitely, we have some other people who are nuts about squirrels and nuts about this stamp set. This one is from Missy Shipman using the Beauty of the Earth designer paper from the annual catalog. I love how clean the lines are and using the two-step stamps to color in. It just looks really clean and really um, bold and perfect. Here's one by Donald Shefsky. Um, I love a little branch and then the acorn and the leaves there. Here's one. This one's by Margot Richardson using the evergreen trees embossing filter on vellum. That gives a really great technique with the white trees in the background. Happy birthday there. Such a great card. Champagne rhinestones really finished that card out. Um, and then here's one by Diana Gibbs. And she does, always just does such an awesome job coloring. She's done some masking and some blending in the background here. And then some beautiful coloring on the squirrel. Um, I guess that's just the regular stamp here. But then she's added some, some additional, like, shading. Hey there, such a great card. Timber embossing folder on the background. It's maybe hard to see in the plastic. Let me take that off really quick, but just adds like just a little bit of texture and interest to the card. Really awesome. Okay, nuts about squirrels. <laughs> I know it does make cute cards, doesn't it? Cute Halloween. Okay, guys, let's talk about cute Halloween. Um, the cutest Halloween stamp set has a coordinating punch. The Halloween punch has a ghost, a cat, and a pumpkin head. Now, the um, punch is on back order. I think that it is still orderable, um, but it is not coming in until October 11th, which is just like two and a half weeks. Um, so at this point, I think you're going to get it before Halloween. If this has been on your radar, order it now. Um, because I think whatever comes in for, for this punch, I don't think we're probably going to get more than that. So if you're, if you're wanting it, you definitely should order sooner rather than later. Let's look, take a look at some cute, um, cards using the cutest Halloween. This six by six paper is just so much fun. And I love the addition of, um, Flirty Flamingo and Highland Heather. Like, I, I would not have used those cards for Halloween, but I think it really works. This is a simple card I designed uh, with some circles. This is punched right out of the designer paper. A little bit of black glitter paper. I really love the way that ties in. Used it again here. Hey, boo. I stamped and punched that with the pun. That little ghost is so cute. Here's another one that I used that uh, little delight stamp set. The bats and the trick-or-treat. But then the paper is the... Um, cute Halloween designer paper. I'm going to stick that one over here. Here's a couple more cards. We've got the penguin that I just showed you. I used the Halloween paper and this stamp set have a fabulous Halloween. Here's another never ending card. I fussy cut and punched out some images from the designer paper. Hey boo. <laughs> and the trick or treat. And then this one by Meg Lovin using that same simple card layout design with the one inch by three inch strips of designer paper and then the little embellishment. I've got some 3D treat containers too that I've shared before. This one, the little scallop treat box. If you haven't seen the tutorial for this one, leave a comment and I will hook you up so you can see it. This box is really easy, um, really, really easy using the large scallop rectangle and then another piece to make the card box. If you like things that are already done for you. How about this tombstone treat box? It's actually quite large. I think I've got um, 10 different um, Hershey nuggets in this box wrapped with designer paper. I die cut a window from the front using the painted label dies and then um, that way you can see. I really should have put something <laughs> like a window sheet or something to hold them in place. I stamped and punched the ghost and the pumpkin. So, so cute. I'm not sure who I'm giving this little treat to, but it's got to be somebody who loves chocolate as much as I do. Couple more Halloween samples using the other Halloween bundles. I usually don't get, um, like, I don't get a lot of Halloween stuff. 
this one was really cute that I did get that one, but I didn't get these two. So I just have some, a couple cards from other demonstrators. This one is by Amy Nicely, and she's used the spiderweb die cut from this set and the sentiment, you're so sweet, it's scary. Now, this is the, the kind of Halloween I like. Just cute and whimsical. The colors really make it so, I think. How about these clever cats? Not just for Halloween, but the cards that I have are Halloween cards. This one is um, by Kelly Atchison. And here's that embossing folder that I was telling you about. Let me take the plastic so you can see it. Um, this embossing folder does diagonally half stars and half checks. Have we missed that embossing folder yet? Let me just see in the back where it is so I can point it out to you. I think it's coming up, but I just wanna make sure I haven't missed it. Page 59, it is coming up, but let me just skip to it really quick and show you. Uh, it's right here on the page with the little delights, okay? So here you can see really well that diagonal design. So you can either do that horizontally or vertically. And how about these amazing colors that Kelly used? Bermuda Bay, Gorgeous Grape, and Granny Apple Green. Like that's so refreshing of a color combination, especially for Halloween. And then she's tied in the black and white gingham ribbon. Oh my gosh, I love it. Here's another one using the Clever Cats. And this one also uses another stamp set. I'm gonna have to pull that one and show you. This is by Susan Elise Morton. And so we've got the cats in the box. And then this one with the witch hats, this is from a stamp set that's a little farther back. And it is right here. It's called Festive and Bright. So you have the witch hats, the Christmas lights, and then the apples. So we've got kind of the fall, winter things going on here. It's not one that I got, but I really love the way that looks as a fun border to the card. And I especially love how she paired it with the clever cats. That was definitely a clever pairing. Next up, we're moving into fall. Oh my gosh, Harvest Meadow. I've had so much fun with this suite. I love all the textures, the ribbon, the cork paper, the time-worn type 3D embossing folder. Definitely hands down fave. You can use this for so many things. And I've shown these cards as well because I did an online class with this. So I'm gonna kind of run through these really quickly as well. This one I shared last week, the double Z fold card using the Harvest Meadow. Um, the dies are on back order due in next week. The designer paper is available. The cork paper is available. I think everything else except those dies which are coming back next week. Uh, here's another one I did, I think another Thursday night. These are the brushed metallic dots. Embossing folder back there and more embossing folder. I stamped on it here to create some fun texture in this background. If you haven't seen this free online class for the Harvest Meadow, be sure to leave a comment and I will hook you up with the link so you can check that out. I used more of the brushed metallic dots. There are three different colors. You've got this copper and then the brass and then the gold as well. So you can see how it coordinates with the paper so well in different ways. Use the embossing folder on the frame for this card. It's my favorite. <laughs> Here's some swap cards using that stamp set. This one's from Leanne Greff. This is one from Georgia Greer. I love the polished pink here. Really fun, even with that embossing folder. And this one by Tracy Jacobs. Really clean and simple. Monochromatic with the misty moonlight. These designer paper pieces are, I'm guessing, one inch by four inches. Yep. <laughs> Really quick and easy design, love that so much. Okay, that's the Harvest Meadow. Like I said, I know I went through that fast, but I've shown it before, so I don't wanna to dwell too much on that. Um, this is really fun. If you like traditional uh, paper colors for Christmas, traditional colors for Christmas designer paper, um, the Heartwarming Hugs designer paper is real red, old olive, pear pizzazz, mossy meadow, I think. Uh, really beautiful colors there. Uh, Janine says, would you share the link for the treat box? Yes. Um, I I will share the link for that. It's on my blog. So when the video is all done, I'll come back in to the comments. And Carol, yes, I will also add the Harvest Meadow link. Um, I will respond to each of your comments with the link as well as putting them in the video description when I get that done later tonight. So if you didn't comment, you'll be able to find it in the video description um, as well. Okay, here's Sparkle of the Season. This is the bundle that I had planned to show or to do the free online class and the card kit for, but currently 
currently the dies are on back order. They're due to be back in stock next week, so fingers crossed, we'll still be able to do a class and a card kit with this bundle. The thing I love about it is that it covers lots of different occasions. We've got some Halloween, some fall, some Christmas, so stay tuned. If I don't end up being able to do a class kit with this, because if the dies take too long to come in, um, I'll still be showing this bundle and doing some cards with it. So definitely on my radar, especially after getting these gorgeous swap cards. This one is by Laura Bardo. She's used the Mary Melody embossing folder in the background and layered two different greens, Granny Apple Green and Garden Green, um, with the die cuts as well as some gold leaves and the berries. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Here's another one. This one's for fall. This one is by Joe Williams. Polka dot embossing folder and then the die cuts. These are all from this set the die cut um, wreath the die cut pumpkins and leaves and the little broom oh my goodness you guys are loving it right <laughs> leave a comment if you'd be interested in doing a sparkle of the season card class and card kit and stay tuned like i said it's definitely on my radar and something that i plan to share soon here's the little delight stamp set i i mentioned this several times and i did pull those out so i can show you again i love that this has different images and different stamp sets for a lots of occasions thank you you're a blessing birthday wishes merry christmas trick-or-treat so you're gonna get a lot of bang here for your buck lots of images lots of stamps so i just wanted to show you some of the cards this one the halloween trick-or-treat this one same layout with the um sweet stockings designer paper ho 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 and the christmas light came from this set love how it coordinates with that paper and then this one is a swap card from natalie travis using the harvest meadow paper cork paper brushed metallic and then a tag punch with the you're such a blessing mm. such a good one i know that many of you have this stamp set as well from uh, when I offered the product share, you added that on at a discount. So I know you guys got that and have been playing with it. How about this gorgeous one? This is one of the distinctive stamp sets, right? So like the, remember we were talking last week about the delicate dahlias and the distinctive stamp. It's like a, a way that they create the stamp. So it's sort of based on a photo and then they have this process of creating the stamp that makes it look photorealistic. So this card is just gorgeous. This one is by Sandy Rule and um, just really like, I feel like sometimes seeing these things like in person really just make it come to life and it's just so beautiful let me take it out of the wrapper so you don't get that glare she's got an embossing folder really subtle background but just misty moonlight just really simple you don't need to add a lot of color to have a beautiful card with this set so this is called reflected in nature it's on page 60 of the mini catalog so if you're really liking the way that looks and you like clean and simple easy cards this is definitely a stamp set for you. Here's what I don't have this and I also don't have any samples of it. Time of Giving has some great stamps for all different seasons and then some detailed die cuts that are kind of fun as well. Time of Giving bundle, this is in stock. So if this is something you've been watching and looking at, definitely check that out. It's available to get right now. Um, some nice sentiment sets, well-defined and thinking thanks in peace. Um, I do have at least one card using that thinking thanks in peace. I used it for the gorgeous leaves card. I'm trying to just pull it from the bucket really quick, but it's just not at my fingertips. Here we go. Thinking of you. I love the big bold. So like I think most of the images in the catalog, uh, these are actual size. So the size that you see in, this, in the catalog is the actual size of the stamp. So thinking of you, I love how big and bold the sentiments in this set are. This is another one that I have and I haven't played with yet, Joyful Life. I just think that these little characters are just so stinking cute. So watch for some something with this as well. I'll definitely be playing with that. And then that border festive and bright set that I showed you. In the back of the catalog, we've got a really great bundle index. So if you want to look at all the things that are bundled together, the stamp set and the dies together, you can see sort of a summary, an index here in the back. And these are the order that they appear in the catalog. So this is the first and the second and the third and so on. So you've got the bundles back here. You can 
can see all of those. And there are additional samples as well. I love that they do that in the back of the in the back of the catalog. And then we've got an index, a catalog at the glance. You can see all the stamp sets, the punches, the dies, and then you can go back and look at the the main catalog page, the designer paper. This is a really great page to turn to to do some quick ordering and and think of and remember all the different things that you wanted to get sometimes these products get lost on the other pages in the main catalog so i always love looking at this index to make sure that i didn't miss anything that i saw in the back you're always going to find host exclusives so when you host a party or place an order that's over $150, you have the option of using your Stampin' Rewards to purchase host exclusives. So in this mini catalog, we've got two host exclusives, the Season of Fun stamp set and the Amaryllis A Bloom stamp set. These are av available at a special price for hosts. So like normally this stamp set would be 17, but with your Stampin' Rewards, you can get it for only $10. These are only available when you order $100 $150 or more. So if you do have an order that big, make sure you take advantage of getting these special host exclusive sets. And if you've been thinking about hosting a virtual party or a catalog party, I would love to help you out with that and hook you and your friends up with some, some free stuff. So definitely ask me about that. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we have covered, whew, we had 93 cards using stuff from the July through December mini catalog, plus a few little 3D projects as well. So I'm going to call this 95 projects using mini catalog stuff. I hope that you saw some things that inspired you. Definitely leave a comment. Let me know what what is your favorite stamp set? What is your favorite paper? What is your favorite bundle? What are you excited about from the mini catalog? And what would you like to see more of? I'd love to know so that I can share ideas with you in the coming weeks to inspire you even more. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you're watching on Facebook, give me a thumbs up and like my page so you can see more videos and more projects from me. Stay tuned because tomorrow, starting at 1 p.m. Central Time, I will be doing a short celebration spotlight video every day for the next week until the end of celebration on September 30th. Uh, where's that little sheet? Let me show you one more time. I'm also going to have the link in the video description. If you want to stamp with me on Saturday, October 2nd for World Card Making Day, we are going to do this free online class. Right now, you can get the free PDF download for the template and the supply list. Um, at my on my blog at tinyurl.com slash sept2021 SOTM. That is going to get you the blog post with this picture, with the link to get the card kit, with the PDF tutorial that you can download right now with a supply list so you can get ready and stamp along with me on Saturday, October 2nd for World Card Making Day. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.